hydraulic systems use three main types of conducting lines. They are steel pipe, steel tubing, and flexible hose. Steel pipes, the cheapest option, also pose a serious risk of external leakage at higher operating pressures. Pipes typically use male tapered threads for compression connections with fittings. These are highly prone to external leakage. In addition, because pipe cannot be bent, numerous connections may be required to join pipes or change directions. This greatly increases the possibility of external leakage. As a result, Pipes and tapered thread are being slowly replaced with tubing and hose utilizing positive seal type fittings with SAE straight threads or ISO 6149 straight threads. Pipes used in hydraulic systems are classified by nominal size and wall thickness. As it became necessary to fabricate pipe to withstand higher pressures, the outer diameter remained the same to accommodate fittings, but the inside diameter was decreased to add strength. Let's understand how the size of a pipe is determined. Currently, wall thickness is expressed in terms of a schedule number and is related to the pressure capability for different nominal sizes in each schedule. To select pipe, you must use references for pressure capabilities and flow rates. Schedule numbers are specified by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI. The significance of these schedule numbers has been explained here. Steel tubing is widely used as it eliminates many of the problems with steel pipes. But steel tubing is more expensive than pipe. Tubing is measured by the actual outside diameter of the tube. To size the tubing for flow rate, determine the inside diameter by subtracting two times the wall thickness from the outside diameter. For diameters larger than an inch, steel tubing is available in increments of a fourth of an inch of the outer diameter. Hoses used when hydraulic circuits are subjected to movement, flexing, or vibration. Hydraulic hose sizes are usually designated by their nominal inside diameter. With some exceptions, this is indicated by a dash number representing the number of 16th inch increments in their inside diameter. The SAE J517 standard is a guideline that helps select a hose for specific performance requirements. An example of size specification for hose is discussed here.